Okay, welcome back to the continuation of this tutorial. So now let's move to space clean. Okay, so again, we have the same model here. So let me rename and call it here design modeler. And let me put here a new one will be space clean, right click, new space clean geometry. So at this point, it's up to you. If you want to use the same model, if you want to use the space clean, okay? I'm showing you different approaches. Probably space, space clean will be the best option, but remember, it's not fully parametric. Also, sometimes it's tricky to make sense uh, fully parametric and to have all this, to insert all those automatic modifications when you add uh, 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 dimensions now, but it's up to you, okay? So we go to, 3D design, okay? So we need to do pretty much the same geometry, similar steps, okay? So you should pick up a plane. So I want to design here, sketch mode, over there, and now you enter there, and the idea, it, it is the same, okay? You start to draw boxes and everything. Uh, by the way, so you go here into file, space clean sections, here you are going to have somewhere the units and everything you want to set up. So see that if you want to snap to the grid, if you want to disable the grid. So by default, space clean is millimeters. I like to work in millimeters, but pretty much nothing change. Okay. So you, you have many options there. Feel free to, to go through those options. So let's go here and see that I snap into the to 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 the mesh there. It's not grid. Okay, so see that I want to create like this. Okay, you put there and now you can add, as in the same model there, you can add dimension. So this one will be 2000. And this one will be 1000. Remember here, you have this, these dimensions are, the, the, they remain in use while you're working in the sketch mode. When you get out, you're going to lose this parametrization. <laughs> There is a way, it's a little bit more advanced to get that, but <clears throat> let's say, let, let's just stay here. So now again, we need to create that circle. Remember that previously we, we have it. So what we need to do, see that now here, I can do construction line. And let me give, so here the idea is also, it's not automatically vertical. Let me give a dimension, 1000. And see that now I go here. And you can snap the circle. Okay, so see something that happened here that it didn't snap to this one, okay? So sometimes when you have this snap to the grid can give you problems. So you can disable that here, it's not grid, and now it's continuous, okay? So see here that it didn't snap to the grid, so I can go here and I can add a constraint, concentric constraint, this to this. And now those points are concentric. You have the same constraints in, in Design model, by the way. So, okay, so let me go put this dimension there. As usual, there are many ways to do it. I'm just choosing this way to, to work. So now this circle, this circle. Okay, now let me add another construction line. Okay, so remember like we did in the previous case. So you see here that it's telling you that it's perpendicular there. You have it there. Okay, and now let me go here. Okay, so see that I go from here and let me put something is 2000. Okay, it's vertical, you have it there. And now let me go from here, something like this, and see that if you want to wake up a point, you hover there and see that it will snap. Okay, in this case, it's not a snapping. So let me go again like this and see that you hover, it snap that point, and you know that you are perfectly parallel, and here. Okay, so see that you have your geometry here, and you can trim like in the same molder, so trim away, trim away, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this, I don't need this. Easy pieces. Okay, so you have all the dimensions you want, you can check here, okay, and this one should be right. So what we're missing now, is this part here. So maybe you have the, the, the impression that it's, it's space clean is easier. And actually, yeah, I, would, I have to say it's easier, but sometimes we are missing some, some stuff here for parametric, proper parametrization. So let me add this axis here. So this is, uh, sorry, it should be construction line, a construction line. 
Okay, and I have that dimension right there. So I go here from here, from this point to this line. One, three to five, I think it was. Oh, let me check here, 75. Okay, put it there. And now I can add this there and I can say from here to here is what we call is one ah uh, it's one to five okay so let me verify yes and then this distance from here to here to fifty Voila, and now finally you have the distance from here to this two to five. From here, so from here to this vertex. Okay, and two to five. Okay, voila, here we are. So see that it was bit, much, much easier than the previous one, and now is the one you can trim here. Trim here, trim here, and trim here, trim here, trim here, and you are done. So see here that I put in the, in the same model, I erase it, the, this axis. You say it's a good idea to keep it. So see that is, if I change here, okay, here, let me put here. So I put this one now, let's say 200. See that everything is updated, okay. Let me come back here, okay. So this is what we have, okay? So you go back to 3D mode and see that now you should have the surface. This is what you want. So here, let me go structure. See here that is you want to, you don't want to see these curves, just hide that one. There is no problem. This is not important into the machine, okay? And press escape to get out of the pool option. So see that you have the geometry and this is the geometry that we're going to import into the machine tool. So as we did in the same model, also you can you can use uh, here, you can create the name selection. So to create here, you go here into groups. It's a little bit different, okay? So here in groups, and see here that you select the edge or the face or whatever, create name it selection, inlet one, inlet two. So even this is easier than the same model outlet okay and this is one you can go and select the walls let me select the walls also so pressing control it will do multiple selections and create here we'll call it walls okay so see that you have there 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 and there be careful that you cannot do a selection twice that it will give you an error but see for instance you have walls and let me see that I do another wall selection and I put it walls to this will give you an error when going into the mesh. So here you have the auction repair overlapping, detect overlapping selections. See that is telling you that this is overlapping. So if you want to repair that when you go repair and it will erase all the overlapping faces. You have something similar in the same model. You right click in the name it selection and you have detect and repair okay so be careful that you cannot put a, a single edge or face mul in multiple name selections that it will give you an error so always check that if you are in doubt if you are not sure so this is it okay you have your geometry okay and just to show you that for instance if i go back to to sketch mode see that all that parameterization i, I lost that parameterization okay However, okay, here, normal to screen, you can still, for instance, you can move that. So see that you have here the move option. So if you want to move that, okay, yeah, the move, everything you need to do in, in 3D. So let me go to 3D. So you see that, select that, and then you have the move option, and you can move here, okay? So you can say that here, I want to give the distance from here, to here, okay, oh, sorry. Okay, so move here, okay. And now you, this, this is the way how, how, how you modify it, okay. 
So as you go to this cache, you will see that now you have this new there, okay? But in any case also, you, you can also project the previous one here, okay? So see that you have this project to sketch, you can select and you project, and then you can redo your new sketch using these new dimensions now. So for instance, let me put this line here and dimension from here to here, okay? So you go and you put there your dimensions, you can put it here. So see that, but in this case it's moving. So you have to be careful also because here in this case you need to make to, to fix this this you need to anchor anchor the, this point. So let, let me select this point. You need to add this constraint here, anchor. So you have something similar by the way in the same model. Okay. Okay, I still need to add I need to add another anchor. So see that. Uh, let me anchor also this one. Okay, so now if I go here, okay, it's moving this one. So in this case, I should anchor as well that one. So these are the things that you need to think about when you parameter parameterize. Okay, so this anchor this one. So now this is the free one. So if I go here, I go, see that now it's moving this one, but now you have the problem with the bottom one, but I hope you got, you, you, you got the idea. Okay. So you have everything there. Uh, okay. You go back in the structure. So here you have undo by the way. So let's go undo to erase all this modification. Let's go back to our original case. Okay, so if you want to measure, you have measure tool there. So let's be sure that that this thing here is okay. So this is the geometry we have. Okay, uh, we assign the name selection here. We have one body here. Okay, so if you right click and if you have multiple surfaces, you need to suppress from physics. Okay, so uh, just to show you, for instance, multiple surfaces. So if I go and I put here and let me create this one. So see that I now I have two surfaces. So if I go to mesh and I will see both surfaces. So you need to suppress this one. I don't want this one and hide. So now you are just passing this similar to what you do in the same model. So this is all. Okay. So in this case, save your project, uh, save the project every now and then. Okay. You have their save project close here and you go here see that now you have here okay so it's still open there why it doesn't close okay 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 so we're back in the same modeler so here you have the same modeler and here we have let me rename space clean so the geometry is just seen is exactly the same so now pick up any to do the mesh that it will be the next video so thanks for your attention see you in the mission stage next video bye